All right, hello there, everyone. This is Mike with Mana Bluff, and I am super excited. Exciting. Well, I am terribly exciting. I'm super excited because now I can finally play Magic Online. Well, I've always been able to play Magic Online, but I can play this fun, super fun format of M15. Yay! I've I'm kind of done with Theros, and well, here we go. I have my phantom points and I just picked one of the hunt objects. I don't know which one I picked, so uh, I guess we'll see eventually. Uh, let's sort by rarity and see what cool things we opened. Yay, Chandra, that's pretty cool. Just a complete side note. Oh, okay. Resolute Archangel. I guess I opened the white one. Um, just a little side note. I've done three paper magic events thus far, two pre-releases and then one draft. And um, this is exciting for me because in each of those three paper events, I opened a Planeswalker, and now I'm four for four with Magic uh, 15 events opening Planeswalkers. No, I don't mean that to brag, but, you know, it's just, just kind of cool, actually. Ooh, I got the blue promo, too. Obelisk of not mattering. Uh, no, keep colors. Game. Don't show this message again. And Spirit Bonds. This thing is going to be sweet. Hopefully, oh, I was going to say hopefully I have one of those. No, Pinging Lands isn't the one. But, um... Yeah, so... And Goblin Kaboomus seems like it could be pretty good. Maybe I have a way to pump it. And um, the Haunted Blade Mail, because it'll start doing some things. Let's uh, sort by color and see what we can what we can do from here. Um, I guess what I'll do is... I've never done a sealed in this format. Or by this format, I mean in the beta. I guess I can't really call it the beta anymore, because it's the one we have to deal with. Uh, so I will see kind of what... Ooh, Triplicate Spirits I know is good. Meditation puzzle, no thank you. I'm just gonna go through and see what cool stuff I have. It's playable. First response is also playable. Devouring light is fine. Sideboard. Pillar of light. That'll probably be something I can hit. If I have auras. Swift claws, good. Pride mate's pretty decent. Soul mender with pride mate, that's a thing. But uh, otherwise, my white is kind of underwhelming. Uh. Yeah. I get, the only thing I have so far is oppressive race to get with my uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. P Pilgrim, But let's see what else I can. Last Firebolt, that's unexciting. That guy's fine. Mongrel's okay. Paragon, I don't know. I'll play one go Rummaging Goblin. Uh, sure, because it's just a 3 2 for 3. Torch Fiend. Oh, that's an aura I wouldn't mind getting. The Inferno Fist is pretty good. Hammer Hand. It's okay. Forge Devil is pretty sweet, just because there's so many one toughness things in this format that it kills all of them. Um, you know, that being said, I would also play the Will Forge because it's good. Most of the time it's just a 4 4 4, which is something I would play anyway. Rogue's Glove is good. I want to see if. This, I don't even know what this card does, but it's terrible. Uh, if I have evasive guys. So, um, actually, both of these colors are seeming relatively underwhelming. Select all. Let's move them into whatever happened with that pile. That was really weird. Sort by color again. Let's get me some some blue cards and see what I have. It's not, it's underwhelming, but it's playable. Uh, if, oh, two of those guys is really good. Two divinations, a coral bearer, a research assistant, peel, and to negate. Well, all of my blue cards are playable. I mean, this guy's okay. He's okay. Uh, a lot of three drops. And I mean, like, negate, it's fine. And sealed. Uh, flesh to dust. I can remove some things. That kills things. This card's pretty good. I'm gonna need threes. Stab wounds, really good. Child of night, typhoid rats. Jeez. Looks like I just have some blue black not playing any. Oh, and then I guess the will forged. Haunted plate mail. Amphin path mage plus rose gloves is kind of a combo, which is pretty sweet. Oh, a bear. That's pretty good. I'm just kind of going through my green now, because as much as I'm kind of tempted to play, like, Chandra and these white cards, this this deck looks sweet. Um, Feral, Siege Worm, 
those cards are not that great. Charging Rhino is fine. Roaring Primadox is actually pretty good if I can get repeatable value off it. Oh, jeez. What is there? There's that guy. He's fine. This at times is, might just be my only creature, but or I could just make something huge. These guys are so good, especially if I'm in blue-black and having two of them is pretty nutty. I could see, see myself playing the shade over, say, this haunted plate mail. Uh, Fester Gloom, unexciting. Necrobite, also unexcited. I don't really have many two drops. I've got the research assistant, which has has turned out to be okay. It's, it's not too bad. If I can stall out the game looking like this deck wants to do, then uh, that's not too bad. <coughs> Mercurial Pretender. Creature I control. I really don't want it to copy any of... Like, none of my creatures are particularly exciting. Oh, and I have to make a cut here. That's interesting. Probably really cut the Haunted Plate Mail. Maybe one of these things, because I do want to reduce my curve. Jeez, that's tough. I mean, my black is... my black has all my removal, removal spells. Covenant, Flesh to Dust, and Stab Wound. So those cards are good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then eight and a half black cards. I think I can rule out green, because I, I don't really know what it's doing. I do want to play Chandra. Just being able to play Chandra would be sweet, but Chandra, splashing Chandra would be pretty, pretty loose. Spirit Bonds is also just such a good card. But this deck just seems correct. Uh, select all. Select all. Let's move it back up here. Let's just see if I can build that sweet, a sweet white deck. Johnny's Pride Mate. It's 2 2 for 2, which I'd play. Divine Favor is unappealing. I could splash like a necrobite, not necrobite, pardon me, stab wound for the, you know, my Heliod's Pilgrim is going to be able to find a an aura for me. Is it an aura or an enchantment? I'm pretty sure it's an aura. Yes, aura. Meditation puzzle, no thank you. Triplicate spirits is sweet. The angel is also very sweet, but super expensive. And actually, that's my white. So, in white, I have Triplicate Spirits, Devouring Light, just as a catch-all removal spell, Spirit Bond. Spirit Bonds being probably the best card. I just want to be playing a bunch of creatures with that. See, I can't... Spirit Bonds, you can't really splash. Hmm. Tough. Man, I don't even know, actually. Because my red cards are just meh. Like, that's okay. And then, I mean, Chandra's obviously really good. Just any Planeswalker just really good. But I feel like the black deck is just so much better. And I'd play the Shade. Stab Wound. Child. Typhoid. Negate. Peel. Research. Coral Barrier is pretty sweet because it blocks its two things. I'll definitely play two Divinations. The Encrust is just kind of a catch-all. Uh, Nimbus. Chrono Stutter. Now my last couple cards is, do I want to play a Chrono Stutter? Oh, I'll play the Willforge Golem. Do I want Chrono Stutter as that, that tempo type card? 
I don't know if it's even that good. Because I'm going to try and what, get, in on, get in through the air or just make a really big soft shade unblockable. And just gain all the life with these things. 2-4. <laughs> Counterspell? It is sealed, after all. And I do need something to play for 4. And more often than not, I'll have a blue creature. Or just the Mercurial Pretender to be able to get some things back. Yeah, this card doesn't seem all that great, but if I'm going to try and be that control deck and try and beat in the air, maybe it'll do some work, plus I'll have blue creatures. And with it being sealed, being a little bit slower, I can leave up the two blue blue. And then my last card is none of these. Oh, two divinations, that's pretty sweet. Alright, so how does this deck win? In the air? With the Nimbus and then the Kite Fins? Seems decent to me. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, it's really unfortunate that there was no other really good white cards to kind of follow it up. I feel like... I do have the two removal spells plus some of this tempo game. Not like this will, is the tempo deck, but... There's some things that it might be able to do, like Appeal from Reality. We'll be able to save one of my guys and then potentially, you know, use it to combo with a couple things. Uh, Swift Claw's good. The Angel's fine, but it is seven. Triplicate Spirits is really good, but the rest of the the rest of my white is kind of underwhelming. And Black Blue is really good. I get so much more value by playing Black Blue. By getting the Jurabai Merc Lurker. Actually, what what does blue white look like? I lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause then these just become a one three for three, which is unexciting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I lose, because I wouldn't play these guys. And then I gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe. And I could also play like haunted plate mail. <laughs> Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna see what actually what that looks like. I do lose out on my removal spells. I so I lose two, three removal spells, some early game, and my white. Okay. So I get a two. A potential that this but I don't have any I get spirit bonds which is really good Devouring Light, Triplicate Spirits, Angel and the Swift Claw and then I need three more cards now I mean this is the kind of deck where I could then splash maybe splash a black for a stab wound because uh, Heliod's Pilgrim is able to find the stab wound, which doesn't seem too bad. Another creature in his tap, target creature in opponent controls, that's pretty good. Ooh, tough. I guess I can, like, bring in oppressive rays. Hmm. Dear, dear, dear. I guess Heliod's Pilgrim also searches up in Crust. I like this deck too. Wow, that's tough. So let me know what you all think. I feel in my gut, it just feels like the black is stronger. I do have a little bit better ground game 
um, with black because you know I've got these couple things and having two of these things is pretty balmy. But then I lose two two drops. Well, I gain one back. Spirit bonds is pretty ridiculous though. Hmm. You know what? I think playing the triplicate spirits is really good too. I still think playing this is a little bit better though. Because I have a little bit more removal, I'm less reliant on being a little tricksy. Oh, how am I? Where am I missing a card from? Sort converted mana cost twenty-two. Oh, typhoid rats, which is where typhoid rats. This is obviously a little bit more controlling build. And you know what? I think I like this. It's strange to say, but I, I like this build a little bit more. I could be wrong. This could be better. Um, and I there might be it's some world where I want to be playing some of the other things. Uh, and I could see the, the appeal to be in red, but I feel like there's this just has the ability to do more. Um, I'd be playing red for Chandra. Which, don't get me wrong, is a reason to play red, but then I also get not really much. So, let's uh, add some basic lands. I'm thinking going in 11 6. Ooh, a 10 7. Um, sure, that seems like a fine enough split. Even though 11 6 is probably right. No, I do want to have Child of Night on turn 2, and I guess Typhoid Rats on turn 1, so let's add to deck. And uh, let's submit. I'll see you in round 1.